she did it. Why she just asked me to do the dishes? I know she see me up here watching TV. Did she just say that? To me? Did, I'm busy. I'm busy. What, she just asked me to do the dishes like she don't see I'm busy? He Hello? If I said that, then you would have heard me. Dishes. Hello? Dishes. Have you checked your attitude lately? How is it looking? But let's talk about feelings. I don't feel like it. Sometimes I don't like talking on the phone. You know, I just don't like talking on the phone sometimes. And I needed to call this person back. But I let my feelings override that. Uh, I don't feel, feel like it. How many things does God want to accomplish through you, but can't because your attitude won't let him? Oh, I'm in love with him. You're going to fall in love with a lot of people in your lifetime. That don't mean you should marry them. Or that don't mean you should have sex with them. Come on now, somebody. I want you to think right now about something that you said to somebody. It could be a stranger. It could be your mother. It could be a sibling. You got an attitude with them. And you knew you were wrong, but instead you let your attitude control the words that came out of your mouth. The next time you feel like your attitude is getting in the way of who God has called you to be, the love that he calls us to share, ask yourself, is what I'm about to say, is how I'm about to react to this person, is what I'm about to do going to honor God? Is it going to make him smile? Is it going to make this person be like, dang, she done grown up? Or dang, his temper has gotten a lot better. He's really, ch what's going on? He been smoking. Is it worth your pride just going up a tiny bit, getting that last word in? Like, who cares about the last word anyway? Y'all not even gonna remember what y'all were arguing about next week. Become a person that people want to be around. They're not like, oh my gosh, what's she gonna say? Or, oh, let me get my popcorn. What's she about to say now? Cause she knows you about, you know she about to tell them all. Speak with love and kindness and patience and wisdom. And look, if you have trouble with it, ask God to help you. And 100%, I ain't lying, he will, because he's helping me. I want you to remember that person that you thought of earlier in the video. And um, if, you, if you won't ever see them again, if it was like somebody that you cussed out on the highway, or if it's your mom, if it's your best friend, like, <sighs> Pray specifically that the next time that you have an opportunity to show that person either who you really ain't, attitude, or who you're trying to become, you know, a person of, of character and grace and love, that you choose love. So pray that. Pray for that specific person. And when you talk to them, that comes across and see how God works, okay? But you gotta meet him halfway. Don't be get on the phone. You better fix it, Lord, because I ain't about Don't do that. Don't do that. Meet him halfway, you know, and really approach those conversations with love, okay? I love y'all, but most importantly, God loves you more. Share this message with somebody that needs to hear it, okay? Love ya. Mwah.